his hands, and his coach just said he'll he'll take that every time. What did you see? What were you hoping to see on that final play? I mean, yeah, just just like coach said, you know, we got the ball in the man's hand that we wanted. Uh, got him the ball, and you know, he made a play. Uh, you know, not every day you're gonna hit that shot, but you know what? We got it to the man we wanted. We got the shot we wanted. Uh, it didn't fall. It just happens like that some days. But uh, it wasn't Jimmy. It was, it was all of us collectively, especially me in first half. We just didn't play with the energy, like I told you, um, and that um, that uh, that urgency that uh, made us so great these last two wins. Surprising the way you had started the last two games, or is every game just its own entity? You know, it, you, you know, you could just see we were just not playing with the urgency that we usually had. You know, uh, getting stops in a row, we just weren't doing that. Uh, it was a back and forth game. So you know, obviously, when you're giving a team confidence like that, um, we're not doing what we need to do to, to come out with a win and comfortable win. Uh, you know, the game gets close, and uh, scoring margins. If you look around the league, you know, are so thin. So it's always a one possession game. It always comes down to if you play a game like that. About halfway through the third quarter, though, Tyus made that breakaway dunk. You took a charge right after that, and then you could just feel the whole momentum shift. He did a great job of trying to put the game in our hands. Um, you know, those those plays, Tyus dunk got us going. You know, without Tyus dunk, I don't think we're in this game. You know, when Tyus does something like that, knowing uh, the situation and the energy level with us today was low, uh, getting us really hyped like that, you know, it took us to another level, and uh, it gave us a chance. And, uh, you know, obviously, like I said, we, we took the last shot. Uh, if I could have anyone in this league shoot that last shot, Jimmy Butler is definitely in the top of my list. Does it feel like you're always taking two steps back when the free, free, uh, the three point disparity is what it is, 42 to three? I'm sorry, say it again. 42. Said, does it does it seem like you're always taking two steps back on a night when the free throw disparity was what it was, 42 to three? Points. Oh. Three points. Oh. Um. That's why I was confused. Um. You know, you just there's always gonna be a stat. You know, we didn't do well to. You know, we didn't do a lot of stats well tonight. Just you talking about one. You know. Uh, you know, we didn't do a great job of rebounding, and we didn't do a great job of, you know, keeping them uh, from hitting their shots and threes, uh, it, stuff like that. You know, that that changes the game. You know, and uh, we didn't do a great job. You know, it falls on me. Uh, I got to play better, especially in the first half, so we can have that urgency. We can have the energy level. Uh, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, and uh, you know, it falls like that sometimes. Carl, you spoke about Jimmy. You went from average to 17 in November to 27 in December. Just wondering what you saw, if, if you saw anything different from him in those two months. I think he's just being aggressive. He's playing his game and he's doing a great job. You know, when he steps on the floor, you know, we all know he's Jimmy Bucket. So, you know, he's doing a great job of picking his spots and then obviously being very aggressive in the fourth quarter. So, um, when you got a person like that who is a, who is a walking bucket, you know, it's, uh, it's always very, very comfortable to have. Thank you.